Today we're going to look at something by the Beatles. This is fantastic for acoustic or electric guitar, wonderful chord progression, but also probably the easiest, one of the easiest Beatles lead lines we can possibly learn if you know how to do one simple technique, which is called a pre-bend. How do we do a pre-bend? Let me show you. A pre-bend is where we bend the string before we pick it, so like this. So how we'd normally do a bend is by picking a note and then bending up. I'm sure you guys have done this before, you need to do that bend on an angle and moving your wrist rather than your fingers. But with a pre-bend, we bend up first, so you see that wrist go high and I'm moving my first, middle and third fingers all together, moving the 12th fret on string two, you can do this on acoustic or electric guitar, bend it up first, the amount of a one fret bend, what we call a half step bend, we push it up, and that's how we're going to play this intro. Super simple, we just need that bending technique. Wrist goes up, fingers kind of move like this, as what Paul Gilbert calls one giant finger. I love that thinking, so we've got the first finger, middle finger, these three fingers, they're kind of three musketeer fingers all together like this, and that wrist needs to go up. We pick. 10th fret with the first finger, push up together, first, then bend it, unbend, that's the pre-bend, back to 10, 11, 12, 13, all together. Couldn't be simpler, let's get into the chord progression for the intro and the verse now. Let's go from the start of the verse and it's a C major chord. C major 7, and then C dominant 7. This came up in my recent tutorial for Kiss Me by Sixpence None the Richer. And this is perhaps where they stole it from. I think it is an absolutely beautiful chord progression, this one essential to learn for any musician at any level. C major, first finger then lifts off. C dominant 7th, little finger goes on. And then we're going to go to an F bar chord, so yes, we do need to be able to play bar chords to be able to play this song. We then do the F lift off of the thickest string, but you can keep the rest of the chord down, so that's kind of an F forward slash E. D7, something in the way she woos me. And then we do a similar step up here. From G, A, and B. As a root note to this G chord, which would technically be G, G over A, and G over B. You'll find a link to the chord sheet in the description below. There's no capo needed or anything. So you can follow this video on the chord sheet to be able to play this song. And it should be no problem, as so long as you can do those bar chords. More help with that kind of thing can be found at andyguitar.co.uk in my beginner, improver, and intermediate courses. So a recap over everything we've done already. C major is something in the way she moves. I'm just strumming on the beat here. Tracks me like no other lover. Just one last strum of that um, F over E chord, D7. Something in the way she woos me. Picking the root note and a strum. And then we're on a descending pattern, which isn't. Um, too dissimilar from a certain song that you can't play on YouTube or you'll get a copyright strike. So I won't even say the name. <laughs> but this goes the way that we're going to play this section. I don't want to leave for now. You know I believe in how. This section. Beautiful section. A minor chord. It's the middle note's going to go down to an A major 7. A dominant 7th. And then I like to play a D9, which is just this. It's like a D7, but without the uh, third finger, which makes it a D9. I don't want to leave for now. You know I believe in how. And then we have probably the hardest bit chords-wise of the song. F, 
E flat, G, and C. So we've got to go from an F chord to E flat, which is at the sixth fret, and it's an A shaped bar chord. G major, which, as soon as this is a bar chord, probably easier as bar chord as well. And then we're back to the verse, and that is also the intro of the song. Bum, ba, dum, bum, bum, bum. F chord. E flat, G, C. So let's go from the very start of the song, of course, if you want to play this. You can, but I'm going to do the chords this time, and we're going to play through all of that again, which just repeats twice, and that takes us through verse one and verse two. Let's do it. Starting on the F bar chord, but if you want to play the lead, go for it. Join in with me in two, three, four, F, dun, do, do, do. Something in the way she moves down, down, up, down, 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 up, down. Attracts me like no other lover. Something in the way she moves me. I don't want to leave her now. You know I believe in how. Somewhere in her smile, she knows that I don't need no other lover. Something in her smile that shows me I don't want to leave her now. We have a key change for that section, so hopefully um, those parts were okay with you. If not, focus on those for sure. Get the lead part, get these chords under your fingers. Far more useful than doing this next part because it will only confuse. Because we literally had a key change. What does that mean? We've been in the key of C so far. Even the E flat. E flat is a borrowed chord in this case, to give some intermediate level theory. So you know, key of C, C, D minor, E minor. F, G, A minor, E flat's in that key because it's like the minor pentatonic scale. Key of A. Now, treat it like a new song, new chord progression, but different, um, like hymn sheet, really. Different song sheet, different key. Info on that can be found in my intermediate course, specifically the bit about keys and key changes, level six or uh, module six of the intermediate course. So now we're on the middle eight bit. You're asking me would my love grow? I don't know. I don't know. Love this bit. Okay, so A major. Can be easier to play A major with one finger if you can do that, because you're straight away going to go for a C sharp minor. Bar chord, fourth fret, root five, F sharp minor, second fret, minor chord, A major over E, so it just means A major, but let E ring out purposefully. D major, G major, and then the part that I always think of uh, Bruce Springsteen, what's he called? Uh, learn, 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 learn to fly, born to run. That's it. My brain went. That wore down. I think that's what Bruce Springsteen was perhaps referencing. I don't know for sure. I wasn't there. I wasn't born. But uh, that part, it's just a chromatic run from the A notes down G sharp, G, F sharp, F, and E. In context, those bar chords again down. Down, down, up, down. It's basically the strumming pattern, but we're varying it slightly as we sing, as we feel the groove, let some 
uh, parts let ring on some parts, which means stop strumming. Always a good thing to play around with at this level. If you're doing all these bar chords, this wants to be a bit more instinctive. And as I say, you might want to step up with some a different song if those bits aren't quite instinctive just yet for you. But there will be if you listen out for them and notice them. So middle eight, two, three, four. You're asking me, will my love grow? I don't know, I don't walk down. Same thing again, but we're just gonna have a different walk down and final chord. I don't know, we're then gonna go back to G. And then we're in the solo. So that part was G which is the five chord in the key of C, so we can get back to C. Doing a key change, going five to one always works really well. There's a four to one, like G. Oh, it's actually just a key change up a key to get into this chord progression, but to get back from it, G to C. That's always a tried and true thing. So that whole, that end part, the rundown, was a C major scale. That's probably the easiest way to play it. the solo and the next part so from that middle eight in total nice and slow join in if you can or just watch if you wish two three four you're asking me will my love grow i don't know I Stick around, it may show I don't know I don't know Then we're into the core into the guitar solo, it's the same as a verse. the same as the verse. The Led Zeppelin part. Into verse four. Something in the way she knows. And all I have to do is think of her. Something in the things she shows me I don't want to leave her now We get to the end of the song F, E flat, G, A And then it's like a tease For the actual ending Which is there Pretty cool, that was a pretty comprehensive play along. Let me know how you get on with this one in the comments below and I'll leave a couple more Beatles songs and there's a full uh, like how to play lead guitar like George Harrison and do a bit more twiddly widdly stuff. I'll leave a link to that on screen as well. Hope to see you guys over on the website with loads more help on this kind of stuff and I'll see you there, bye bye.